Okay, so here we want to start looking at um, the derivative of uh, functions. And um, in the last lecture, we looked at how to find the derivative of a function from first principles. Uh, but uh, there are rules that will help us to find the derivative without using the first principles, and these are some of the rules. Uh, these are not all of it. We're going to finish with this, discuss this, and then later on, we'll look at uh, two important ones, which are the product rule and the quotient rule. Okay? So here, the um, the derivative of a constant, this is that the first rule says if I have a constant function f of x is equal to c, it doesn't matter what this constant is, as long as it's a constant, the derivative of that is equal to zero. Alright? So if my function is f of x is equal to whatever 5, then f prime of x will be zero. If f of x is equal to say name three. Then three is a constant. Then f prime of x. The derivative is zero. Okay? And you can show this from the first principles. It's easy to show it, right? That since it's a constant, um, your derivative will be zero. Okay? Uh, if f of x is equal to any constant, call it uh, e or two e e is the number e, right? Then f prime of x is zero. So that is the first rule. As long as it's a constant, the derivative goes to zero. This is one powerful one that we, you would come across a lot. The power rule, if f of x is equal to x raised to some real number, okay? Then if f of x is equal to a real number, f of x is x raised to the power n, then the power rule says the derivative of a function like that is equal to, you bring n down here, and you multiply by x raised to the power, subtract 1 from this, you have n minus 1. Okay, so for example, if f of x is equal to x to the power 3, how do you find the slope of that, or the gradient, the derivative? Instead of using the first principles, this rule says that f prime of x is equal to 3, right? x raised to the power, subtract 1 from here, and you have 2. 3x squared. Okay? Uh, another example, if f of x is equal to, let's say, the square root of x. Now remember that the square root of x is x raised to the power half. And so f prime of x will be equal to, bring your number, bring the half down here, x raised to the power half minus one is negative one half. So that is the derivative of the square root of x. Well, you can write this in a nicer form. This is the same as one over two x to the power half, or the square root of x. Let me write it nicely. Okay. So f prime of the square root of x, you can use the power rule to find it, and it's given by this. So that is the power rule. Um, this one says that if I have a constant, call it k, that multiplies the function, well, you can pull the constant out and just find the derivative of f. Alright? So, rule number three. Rule number three says that if number three, if um, y is equal to some constant times a function f of x, then dy dx, the gradient, the slope, or the derivative of this, is equal to leave k and find the slope, the derivative of this. k is just a constant, so it remains a constant. So you have f prime of x. All right. For example, if f of x is equal to let's say ten, right, times x to the power of four. Okay. Then f prime of x is 
equal to leave this alone time is okay then you apply the power rule to this guy we're going to apply the power rule we have four down so you bring four down they have x subtract one from here that gives you three and so this gives you 10 times 4 is 40 x raised to the power 3 okay so if you have a constant times a function well just leave the constant and find the derivative of the um the term with the x okay the independent variable all right good so that is rule number three rule number four says if i have a function which is the sum of um, two functions to find the derivative of this you can find the derivative separately find the der derivative of f of x plus or minus the derivative of g of x okay so that is the, uh, the rule so number four number four says if h of x is equal to f of x plus it doesn't matter whether it's plus or minus you apply the same rule applies okay then h prime the derivative of this function is equal to find the derivative of this plus or minus the derivative of that so whatever this is you take it and add it to whatever this is all right eg suppose that the function h of x is equal to 2x to the power 3 minus 3x to the power 1 third. Hmm. You want to find the derivative of that. Well, h prime, this rule says h prime of x is equal to, find the derivative of this, again it's a constant, so did that. You bring 3 down here, that gives you 6. 3 times 2 is 6, then x to the power 2, right? So that's the derivative of this. Minus 3 is there, I bring the 1 third down, then I x, subtract 1 from here, that gives you negative 2 on 3. Okay, now 3 times 1 over 3 cancels, 3 cancels 3 does. You have 1, so this is 6x squared minus this 1 now, x to the power negative 2 times. You can leave it as that. That is the solution, or you can rewrite it if you want. Right? This is x squared minus, this is the same as 1 over x to the power 2 times. Okay? This is fine, this is also fine. Depends on, uh, depends on. Okay, so. These are four rules that you would um, apply a lot. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to do uh, two very important ones. The um, product rule, right? If you have the product of two functions, and the quotient rule, if you have um, the ratio of two functions. Okay.